The Lion and Albert by Maria Edgar. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool which is noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom, me were, went there with young Albert, their son. A grand little lad were old Albert, all dressed in his best, quite as well. We a stick, we a horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean. The waves, they was piddling and small. There were no wrecks and nobody rounded in fact not to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo where there's lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches too. There was one great big lion called Wallace, whose nose was all covered with scars. He lay in a somnolent posture, with the side of his face to the bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they were ferocious and wild. To see Wallace, Lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straightway, this brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with its horse's head handle and gave the lion a pork in the ear. You could see the lion didn't like it for giving a kind of a roll he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and swallowed the little lad Oh! Now Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Ma, you're the lion said Albert. And Ma said, I am vexed. Then Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom quite rightly, when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion had eaten their son. The keeper were quite good about it. He said, What a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your boy he's eaten? said Pa. Am I sure? Here's his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, what's to do? Pa said, young lion said, Albert did him in his Sunday clothes too. And Ma said, right, right, young fella. I think it's a shame and a sin for young lion to go and eat Albert. And after we paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He got out his purse right away. He said, how much to settle the matter? Said, Pa, what do you usually play? But Ma had got a bit awkward where her, fought, uh, where her Albert had gone. And she said, no, somebody's going to be summonsed. So that was decided upon. So they all went off to police station in front of the magistrate chap. They told him what had happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion. He thought no one was really to blame. And he said that he hoped the ram's bottoms would have Further sons to their name. At this mother got proper blazing. And thank you so kindly, said she. What waste all our lives rearing children to hate ruddy lions? Not me.